Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley and, of course, to Fuzzy Ferret Farm. Oh, it's been a little while. It's been a little while since I've recorded anything after me. We'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. First, let's start the day off by checking a living off the land where we have some new tips. Super Cucumber. You can find this rare fish in the ocean. It only comes out in the evening during summer and winter, so around the right time for now, then. And Fortune Teller. Spirits are in good humour today. That's fantastic because it is a festival day, I believe. And finally, a weather report. Welcome to Cos5, your number one source for weather, news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful, sunny day tomorrow. Thankfully. Thankfully, rather. Ugh, uh, I ate too many barn muffins for breakfast. Oh, It's okay. You'll feel better. I should have gone up earlier and made you a good breakfast. Damn it. I am failing you. Uh, what would make you, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure adding more food is going to make this this better, but you've eaten far too much sugar by the seams of it. You probably need some savory to counteract all of the sugar. Uh, oh well. Now then, today I'm fairly certain is a festival day, I think. It's the luau. So first thing we want to do today, check what we've got. Now then. Do we have something that will be particularly good for the pot? Parsnips, maybe? Would would these kinds of parsnips do okay? No, probably not. We've got a we've got a large egg. That might work. Have we got any like that? We've got gold star melons. Fairly certain the gold star melon will work. Typically, the way the way it works is usually it's something that you're not going to have been able to get in the first year to get the best possible response because the game is just a scallywag like that i'm going to take a gold star melon um do i have any other particular things i think a sturgeon is another one that's pretty good uh no i don't think i've got a sturgeon no that's a bit of a shame oh well i think we're going to be okay with the gold star melon. that's the main thing right oh set this coffee down us right now i am Functioning only because of the amount of caffeine in my system. It is so hard to sleep since I got back from the hospital. Uh, operations suck because it takes forever to heal from them. Hello. There we go. Let's get that done. I can't sleep properly right now. I have to sleep sitting up in case I roll over and, and open up the parts of me that have been closed. It's like, ah, oh, no, this is terrible. On the plus side, though, I'm actually healing very quickly. For those who have been asking me on Twitter and the likes, I'm doing fine. I'm just, I'm just a little bit sore, and it's going to take a couple of weeks before that soreness goes away. Uh, any more eggs? Yes. Let's uh, say hello to all of our beautiful hens and ducks and black ducks. Uh, sorry, black chickens rather. Void chickens. There we are, and our blue chickens as well. Um, sea chickens? Sh should we call them sea chickens from now on? I think we should. Right, we're going to drop off all of the small eggs, because we really, we should only be putting in the large eggs, frankly, or the specialist eggs. We've got far too many eggs. It's it's nonsense. Silliness it is. Uh, let's go and get these out of my inventory straight away. Drop all of those off. There we go. Uh, ooh, we also need to drop off all of the mayo. Uh, let's see, we want to recycle the spectacles as well. There we are. Right, okay, so down here we should see a few items for gathering. Now hopefully I can get much of this work done before the luau starts, so I don't have to worry about having loads of stuff to do when I get home. Because it's always a little bit of a pain. Uh, grab you, pop you in there. Uh, sorry, pop you down there, I need to say. There we are. Yeah, the Lua has begun. Okay, well, we should probably head down this straight away. The only issue is that our, our animals won't be very happy because we won't have let them out. So let's quickly go around, let all of the animals out at the very least, and then we can head into town. Let's just uh, pop in. Hello, Cariats. Hello, 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 hello. Right, there we go. Open that up as well. Now, I'm probably not going to have time to milk all of our cows and goats. So I'm just gonna let them out. And we'll just accept the loss for today. Now I'm hoping that I will be up to recording a full 
uh, episode, but I'm just going to put this out there. I might not for today and, and maybe for the next couple of days. I'm not sure yet because um, among various other things, I'm, I'm pretty shattered all the time right now, but uh, I've got to take medication quite regularly just while I'm healing. And it, it's really gets in the way of recording because like I've got so many different alarms on my phone now for the different antibiotics and steroids that I need to take. It's like, oh my Lord, this feels horrible. <sighs> right, let's go to the Luau and, and maybe, maybe it'll lift my spirits. I'm sure it will. How could this not lift my spirits? Look at this fantastic place. Ah, look, Emily's dancing. Can I join the dance this time? She's unresponsive. Well, that's fine. I knew what I was getting in for when I married you, I suppose. I'll just dance beside you. We, we can dance together, alone. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Let's go and check everyone else. Music's too loud. Actually, for once, George, I agree. But it's too loud, which is my fault, not, not the game's fault. I just don't have an inline volume control on these earbuds. Ah, the smell of the ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. Well, I... I I'm glad to note the ocean smells the same as it did many years ago. That's probably a good thing. I mean, it's probably bad if it smelled worse. Though, frankly, given what it looks like just over in Cinder Snap, I'm surprised it doesn't smell worse. Oh, you stepped on my foot, dear. This is tiring, honey. You ready to visit the buffet soon? Oh, I'm bored. This isn't a good dancer. Well, oh, practice makes perfect. I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? Um, yeah, it's actually pretty good weather for a beach party. I'm starting to socialise with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to watch people, too. It is tiring to talk to lots of people. But it's always kind of interesting just to watch them all. The more people are curious about your festivities. They become upset when you litter into the ocean. Well, thankfully, I do not. Unless you count the times where I throw fish back in there as offerings. But I'm sure they don't count that. One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. Ever wonder why Sam leads the town community service hours? <laughs> Did he put him up to it? I wouldn't be too surprised if he had, actually. Now, we can't ever forget Willie down here. Hi there, I'm like, taking a breather. Eh, not really, just socialising. Tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing right now. Come on, Whitney. Join in a little bit. Everyone else is probably really happy that you're here. Wow, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. Maybe you should go to the big city and open up a shop. These blasted sandflies keep landing on the food. Yes, that would be a problem, actually. <laughs> Free buffet, one of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. You, you know what? As interesting as an idea as this is, it's part of me that just kind of, just, just more than everything about it, you know, just everyone popping this stuff into this big old barrel that's just exposed to all of the sand flies and, hmm, I'm full, but what else is there to do besides eat? Well, normally I'd have talk, told you to go and talk with Emily. I mean, I still kind of think you should. A bit of reconciliation, you know, but, hey, good to see you. Thanks, Kat. I hope the soup is good this year. I'm sure it will be. I'll do my best to make it so. I put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. Hmm, maybe if I get on the governor's good side, he'll give my business a tax break. I wonder if he likes aged whiskey. Now, if only the mayor would stop smoozing with him all afternoon so I can smooth with him all afternoon. I woke up late, stepped out of the door, and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. What about today was the Luau. How on earth did you manage to not notice it? I mean, that, that cabin cannot be that soundproof. How's the farming coming along? It must be busy season for you. Oh, you have no idea. No idea. Hey, Marlon. I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. Yes. I don't blame you. Governor? Who cares? Why should I care about some random old guy? Mm, I'm not sure that's the right attitude to have. We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. And, you know, just to, to show him exactly what the valley's like, we've smashed the bridge every single year as well. And then we only rebuild it after he's gone. <laughs> oh, what a funny joke. Seriously, though, why did he break my bridge? I spent good wood making that bridge walkable. 
Mayor Lewis hopes it will get the governor on our good side. That's why he's so neurotic about the way the soup tastes. Well, you know, it's completely understandable. This new continuous rotation is the key to achieving the perfect roast. Thank you for your wisdom there, Linus. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. Good thing I came with sunscreen. I wonder if Maro could use some sunscreen on her shoulders. Uh, I don't, I'm sure you don't mean it in a creepy way. There's just something about the delivery there that's... Uh, uh, what a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. You know what? I should probably put my uh, contribution to the pot in the pot before I talk with the mayor. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. Okay, I will do so. I would like to put my golden melon in there. You added a melon to the soup. Now, if I am correct, then this should be something along the line of... Um, this is the best soup I've, I've ever had, or, or something like that. If it's not that, then I'm, I'm at least hoping that it's like, ah, yeah, it's a very pleasant soup, because I know that that one is the one he gives when he's just like, yeah, it's okay, it's not the best, not the worst, though, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Look sharp, the governor's here for an annual visit. He brought something for the potluck, make sure and add it to the soup cauldron. I have done so. Yes, let's get started. Please let me have put the right thing in there. Please let me not be remembering a melon because it's the worst thing to be putting in there. Because that's always a risk. It's always a risk. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high-quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret this visit to the valley. I'm sure it'll be fine. And if it's not, it's my fault. And you can just all blame me. It's fine. Well, governor, would you do us the honour of tasting the soup? Of course! I've been looking forward to this all year! Ah, okay, fingers crossed, and toes if you can. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my! That's the best soup I've ever done! <laughs> but, oh wow, yeah, calm down. Leave some for the rest of us! Oh my goodness. Wow. Alright! It's delicious! Wonderful job, everyone! Now, who else wants a taste? Now, basically, depending on how you do here, the, the village doesn't get in any trouble with the maid, even if it's bad, but you personally get, like, a, a result of friendship out of how well it's received by the mayor. If it's, uh, sorry, by the um, governor. If it's really low, then if it's, like, a really bad soup, you'll lose friendship with everyone. If it's really good, you'll gain friendship with everyone. The governor wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. Time to head home. That's it for me. No! Oh! Agro has been left. Ah, oh, you scallywax. Agro is all the way down there. Why do you always do this to poor Agro? Why do I always forget that Agro is going to be left behind? Why do I always do the same thing and expect a different result? Uh, this, game, this game is sometimes quite trying. Quite trying. You know what? I'm not going to bother any of the cows and goats. I hope that they... Even though I didn't greet them properly, I hope that in the the tiny little goat or cow actually they're not tiny. If it's a, if it's certainly enough as a cow. I mean I'm not really sure about the size of a goat's heart. I imagine it's fairly fairly sizable, comparative to a human's heart at the very least. But regardless of the size of their heart, I hope they know in said heart that I only didn't say hello because I wanted to let them out and I knew that they would like to be out more. That's all, okay? Uh, also, I need to plant more stuff. Um, fairly certain we'll have plenty of time to get all of these planted if I absolutely want to. Um, not sure. I may pop into the greenhouse and see what kind of things we've got for that. We probably have enough. I imagine we do. Hello, greenhouse. You know what? Even though very little time has passed in the game, Whenever I, I play this after a bit of a break, I feel terrible. It's like, oh my god, I haven't been in the greenhouse in ages. It's going to be overgrown. And it's never overgrown. I'm, I'm always very thankful of that. But I, I still feel like quite the scallywag every time it happens. Um, <laughs> Plant these in the spring. Spring. Summer six days to mature. Sure, we'll grab those. Fall. Uh, spring. Summer. Fall, 
Uh, summer, yeah, sure. Okay, we'll grab these. I guess we could pop in some more radishes too. Sure. Okay, we'll pop in some more radishes as well. Pop you into the seed makers. There we go. And we'll pop those back then. Uh, there we are. And we'll just go and plant what we can. Uh, right, let's load that in there. Go grab ourselves some honey. Now, how much do... I don't think... No, we very, very seriously do not have enough to replant all of this. Which is a bit of a shame, but... Oh, well. Worst things have happened at sea. Which is, which is a really bad way of, of you know... <laughs> saying, ah, oh, it's, it's not a problem. Worst things have happened at sea. Well, yes, of course they have. But then... Much better things have happened to see as well. I don't. I don't see why this is something that you can take take heart from. Honestly, well, why is this? How how does this make this any less worse? Just because something worse uh, happened somewhere else? I don't understand. I'm overthinking it. Clearly, possibly also the medicine is making me overthink it. Let's get all of that in. Dread damn blast. Oh well, we've done our best. I'm assuming Agro will find find their way home. Uh, let's go ahead and drop those off. We'll also drop off a bunch of the red cabbages. And you know what? Yeah, we're going to get get those out of there as well. Uh, those two. The rest is coming back with us. Uh, oh, did I have spice berry to give someone? Uh, do I have a buffer fresh? I do not. Might need to look into that then. Hmm. Oh well. The very least... All of my animals are happy. That's that's the main thing. They they all they all had their time. They they all went to sleep, and I'm generally feeling fairly fairly happy about that. You know what? I'm just gonna cook. Ooh, red plate. Plus fifty max. You know that that would be really useful later on. But right now, not quite so much. There we go, and make all of that as well. All right, time for sleeps. No star, Paub. No star, Emily. There we go. Okay. Right. Well, we didn't do too badly, actually. We did quite well. Um, yeah, the 28 eggs made us a fair old chunk of cash. And then, of course, the bumper crop of melons and cabbages. Now, what happened with the fairy is she simply matured a bunch of the melons. She didn't make them super crops. That's not quite how that works. But it was quite nice that she made um, a, a, quite a hefty amount of the melons mature really quickly. That certainly did help our coffers there. So, uh, thank you very much, fairy. Okay. There we go. Let's go and check on the television. All right. What's the fortune like today? Swiss are mildly perturbed. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. And what about the weather report? Ooh, storm approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. Hmm. Not so great. I'm going to visit town today. And later on, I'm going to help out the saloon. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Um, let me go and grab some things. Where, where be my chest full of stuff? Um, you will do. I didn't give Emily a present yesterday, and I feel horrible. There you go. Let's give this fabulous. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Right, let's go and check on this. You're such a good neighbor. I thought I'd just send over some animal feed to make your job easier. Keep it up. Thank you very much, Manny. Okay, well, clearly, there's a bit of a derp, and I didn't close all of the doors. Ugh. Okay, so first thing to do this morning, try and say hello to all of the chickens and the ducks and not miss a single one. Odds of me missing at least one fairly high. I'll be honest with you. Fairly good chance. Lock, 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 lock. Now, I'm going to go ahead, because it was a festival day, I'll record a two-day episode for this one, but... I may have to go way in the middle to take some meds, so yeah. Prepare to laugh at my silly alarm, which is still everything is awesome. And will remain everything is awesome for the foreseeable future. I will try to cut her out so it doesn't make any of your brains bleed, but if I don't, well, I feel that I have absolved myself of responsibility by giving you fair warning that it's going to possibly occur. So no complaining to me 
if your ears get blasted out by silly, silly song from Lego the Advertising the Movie. Right, let's see. Uh, let's get all of this up there. Seriously, how can anyone not like that song? On the plus side, we will have... Well, actually, do we have to enough eggs? Yeah, we do. That's fine. Let's make sure we only pop the uh, large eggs in. Since we've got so many of them, there's really no reason not to. We get so many large eggs at the moment. I'll allow those to accrue for now. Uh, also... There we are. Perfect. Back to you as well. Now, today, we can promptly take care of all of our animals. Oh, I felt I felt a little bit rushed yesterday. And I, I, I do feel bad when that happens. Pop that one down there. What are we going to pop in it? Um, sure, let's, let's make some melon jam. I wouldn't half mind getting some more um, preserve jars, but... So expensive on the coal. It's gonna take quite the hunt to get it. Hello, Agro. Thank you. Let's head down and try and make it up to the girls today. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Hello, 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 hello to you. What a da. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, there we go. Okay. I feel a little bit less bad. Now. I do hope it wasn't too uncomfortable last night. If it was, you're being you're being very brave and you're just not letting me know because you know how upset it would make me. Thank you very much, cows. You are better cows than I am. For obvious reasons, because I'm not a cow. But if I were a cow, you would still trump me in terms of being a cow, just out of how considerate you are. There we are. Let's pop all of those in. There we go. Sorted. Oh, indeed. Come on out then. Enjoy the outdoors for a bit. Now, let's go and check on the goats. Hello, caveats. Oh, my lord, that's loud. I cannot wait until I can get my uh, headset fixed. Uh, there we go. And, wow. Oh, was a, a without a, Wow. Okay. A lot of iridium goat's milk there. That was particularly awesome. I think I may actually need to uh, bring along the milking pail to the other cow shed. Hello. There we go. And again, there's no point in me buying a new milking pail and putting a chest in here. Oh, I actually will put a chest in here, I guess. But um, there's not too much point in me doing that because eventually the other um, barn is purely for pigs. So I just need this set up for now. It's a temporary sort of thing. Ooh. Ah, coffee. We shall be enjoying ourselves some delicious cups of coffee in the very near future. I know, I know. We'll get everything sorted soon. Right, do I have any more milk that I can drop off? Yes, I do, actually. Wonderful. And then we'll leave any other milk that we can process there. And with that, I think it's time for us to leave. Okay, fantastic. We've done everything that we needed to do. Um, ooh. You know what I haven't done, though? I haven't checked on what's happening today. I don't think anything that's happening today. As in, uh, there were no birthdays or anything I needed to be aware of. But, I will be honest, I am super forgetful at the moment. So I better go and check. Let's pop in and check on that first thing. I really like that floor. I think it works very well. No, we're good, we're good. Ooh. Alex's birthday. Hmm. All right, bear that in mind. But we should be able to get Alex something pretty nice. Just some... Um, I know that Alex likes anything made of eggs, really. So we should be okay with that. We also need to 
Use that. Do I have to have still got the milk pail on me? Because I'm a derp. Uh, I hope it's an endearing sort of derpitude, though. Almost forgot. So almost forgot. It was so close, bunnies. I am sorry. I am deeply, deeply sorry. But, but almost failing is the same as succeeding. Just remember that. It goes the other way as well. Almost succeeding is exactly the same as failing. So, you know, you take the good with the bad. But I didn't forget. And that is the main thing. Uh, right. I think everything... Ooh, we've got some uh, emissaries of Colin. And we definitely need to get more. Mm. Mm, we could... Pop these in there, I guess. Um... No, I think... Oh, I guess I could use the mix seeds, thinking about it. Yeah, sure, okay, that's not too bad. Let's get those out there. And planted. We'll start with the cavities, though. There we are. And then the rest can just be mix seeds. Oh, my lord. I haven't had to hoe a piece of ground in a very long time. Uh, I should have enough sap to make one fertilizer. Nor have I gone to the map in a million years. Wow, that was a bit of a blast from the past. Uh, pop that one down. There we go. All is well. All is well in the farm, I think, possibly. Maybe, perhaps. It could be improved, but it'll have to do for now. Right, so, with all of that done, the first thing we're going to do is going to go and drop off this uh, milk pail. Uh, thank you very much, goats, for letting me use it. If M get in, please let me through. Thank you. The next thing that we'll do. Um Yeah, sure, I'll grab those now. We are going to head. Do I ooh, I do not know if I've got any horseradish, because I'd like to go and give Krobus a gift. I'll also drop off the coffee in here. Oh no. Someone did warn me that I had missed out two of the uh Really? Two of the uh, kegs, but I completely forgot. Uh, right, let's drop these off as well. You know what? We'll make some, some oil with that corn. And the red cabbage too. Oh, actually, do we need the red cabbage for anything? Let me double check. I don't think we do. We need a pomegranate and a rabbit's foot. And we need three apples. Well, that'll be, all be fine. We'll, we'll easily get all of that. Uh, so no, we don't need the red cabbage. So we can we can make some sort of cabbage juice with that as well. Um, we do, however, need to drop off the seeds. I'm I'm kind of being organised in a really disorganised way. There's method to my no, actually, there's no method to my mouth. That's a that's a flagrant lie. I am just being a derp. But again, I hope it's more on the endearing side of derpitude and not the annoying side. Uh, we could drop this off, I suppose. But I guess I may as well keep it with me. No, we're good. I'll grab you. I am going to drop off all of these. I'm not going to bother making them into anything. There we go. Right, now. I do need to go to the shop. I am going to need horse riders. Good. And since I'm going that way, let me grab... A Void Essence. And let's just see, who can I send gifts to? Lewis, you don't, well, you don't need any. I could give you a gift, but... Um, yeah, Rasmodius needs one. Willie needs some. Gus needs some. Jody. Uh, okay, so... Caroline as well. I have any nice flowers? Yeah, I've got some sweet peas. Uh, but I'll give you... Hmm... Yeah, I'll give you a sweet pea. I'll be fine. So, Void Essence, sweet pea. I'll make some food just in case we swing past Gus's place. Uh, I'll make a chocolate cake for Gus. There we are. Okay, so, there's a few things we need to do. As always, but often forgotten, I need to head to the merchant. See if perhaps... No. 
they have anything interesting to purchase. Maybe a rabbit's foot, for example. I also need to drop into the Lost Woods to get some uh, more hardwood for our house expansion. Do you have anything amazing? You do not. A topiary tree, though. Yes, I accept. Uh, we'll go to Rasmodius' first, though. Now, I was recently asked if I can chop all of the trees in Cintersnap. You can chop the majority of them. There are some, like for example, these ones, are not, I don't think can be chopped down. Not simply because you can't reach them, but because they're colored slightly differently. Ah, this is imbued with potent arcane energies. If it's very, uh, sorry, it's very useful for my studies. Thank you. I was married long ago. After my wife and I split, she began flying around the countryside, cursing everything she saw. Well, I couldn't possibly be in the fairy then, because she gave me good luck. But, you can chop down the majority of the trees uh, in Cintersnap, but there are one or two exceptions, and I'm fairly certain the ones down by Hat Mouse's house cannot be chopped. For example, these can't be chopped. These ones can be, I think, we'll see now. Yeah, they can be. You know what, perhaps we should go and uh, check in on Hat Mouse. See what Hat Mouse has to, uh, to offer. Hello. Um, mouse ears, cat ears, tiara, uh, delicate bow, a, bon a cow, g a cow gal hat. Not even a cow girl. Cow gal. Uh, the band is studded with fake diamonds. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, you can also drop th this one down, but all of the others, um, they're not droppable. So. I'm not even sure if anyone really thinks of these as trees, but I do. <laughs> Very short ones. But they are not choppable now. Right, okay, so that's all done. Let's head on back up and get a little bit more pepper poppers inside us so that we're fast. And then we're going to go and visit Trubus. And that is my alarm. Uh, I will be back shortly. And we're back. Hello, Mommy. I'm so sorry. I saw you in the face. I, I swear, it's the medicine. It's just got me all wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey. Everything seems up and down and left and right and everything out of position. And It's not nearly that bad, actually. In fact, I, honestly, other than feeling tired all the time, I barely feel it. But I will use that as the excuse for why I randomly saw to my neighbours. For as long as that excuse is even remotely valid. Uh, I could get an Iridium Sprinkler for 10 grand. I think so, yes. And additionally, here you go, Probus. There you are. This is an amazing gift for my people. It's a great honor to receive something like this. There we go. Ah. But yes, having to take medicine every hour is quite the pain. <laughs> I can't wait for two weeks to pass so I can stop. My goodness. Uh, let's see. Now, with that done, I think it is Gus's time. Let us go and say hello to our dear friend Gus. Hello, dear friend Gus. Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. Well, here you go. Oh, goodness, are you sure? I am indeed. Uh, also, I, I was a bit of a jerk earlier and I accidentally sorted someone in the face, so... Ugh. Beers on me for everyone. Everyone likes beers, more or less, I think. Here we go. I'm so sorry, Manny. Thank you. Lewis, I didn't do anything to you, but you can also have it. Thanks, this is great. Um, oh, actually, I can just store them all on my... Oh, that's fantastically useful. Here you go, Kent. Hey, now, this is really a great gift. Thanks, you're welcome. That's a really nice gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I'll consider it. Oh, damn it. I can't... She's my wife. I can't have a... I guess she's working behind the... Uh, you know, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, game. You're, you're being responsible. I accept I accept that I was doing something dumb. That's very kind of you. I like this. I'm glad. This is great. Thank you. Thanks. This is really nice. Thank you. This is very interesting. Spec, really? Uh, hey, uh. Hmm, if I give the cue ball a bit of a top spin, maybe I could... No, no. I doubt it. You don't even, you don't even want the cue. Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. You realise the only reason you win is because there's only one cue, and you're the only one who ever has it. Sam hasn't worked out he can get the two from the wall yet. You're being very unfair, Sebastian. I'm going to be honest here. I don't wish I had a cat. 
Unfortunately, my dad is allergic to pretty much everything. Except beer, it seems. He, he, he's pretty happy with that. Hey, yeah. Uh, I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. What else is this? You're already... Wow, you've already had way too much to drink. My goodness. My goodness. Agro, this place is nuts. Hey, Penny. You were responsible for fixing the bus back up. Thank you. Well, you're more than welcome. I, I don't remember her ever acknowledging that in the, my first place. Um, it might just be my memory, but that's quite nice that she uh, notices it. The one that doesn't really matter to me, I typically stay near the shop year round. Well, that's fine. Ah, ooh, we've got something over here that I'm almost certainly not going to be able to help with. I want a quartz to rub on your sore head. Uh, okay. If that actually works for the sore head, you have my thanks, because I will be using this tip for the future. In fact, you can have the quartz, in fact, you can have a lifetime supply of quartz for free. Mostly because I assume that you're not rubbing the quartz so hard on your head that you're disintegrating it, because I frankly think your head would disintegrate first, and I'd rather that not be the case. If that is in fact your intention, I rescind the offer, and I may be getting in touch with the authorities. It's for the best. But, if just rubbing a piece of quartz on your head makes your headache go away, my lord, how have I not heard of this before? There we go, so a little bit of mining. Add a few gems as well, fantastic. Emily will be pleased. Uh, ooh, iridium. <gasps> no. A prismatic shard? Dear lord, that's awesome. And genuinely, that's amazing. You usually have to plumb the depths of the of uh, Skull Cavern to get a prismatic shard. My goodness, what a fortunate day this has been! Very glad that I decided to uh, go ahead and record a two-day episode now, because I really, really was thinking I might need to record just for one. This is why I didn't have an episode of this go up yesterday. I just didn't, really didn't feel up to recording uh, two days worth of recording. I'd forgotten that it was the luau, to be honest. Otherwise, I might have. But um, a regular recording takes about 50 minutes for me. Um, you know, including all the rigmarole of getting everything set up, etc., etc. But um, it's why I uh, sometimes don't record Stardew Valley and instead record other things, which only take me like 20 or 30 minutes to record. I just, I really want to play Stardew Valley more, but that often gets in the way, so I thought, oh, you know what, if that's the only thing that's stopping me starting, then I should just record a one-day episode. Okay, heading back now with our bag full of loot. Quite a lot of good loot, actually. We've got a lot of Iridium. Ouch! Really? Really? You were waiting for me? You wretch. I'm not up for playing today. My goodness. Slimes like that, that that make me not feel sorry about killing all the other slimes, Agro. They give all the other slimes a bad name. Alright, let's get all the doors closed so that at least tomorrow I'm not going to be confused with who I've said hello to and who I have not said hello to. And then we will possibly do a little bit of forestry just before it gets too late. Uh, that being said, it really is already too late, thinking about it. So I should probably, probably head to bed straight away. Uh, I may have a couple of things that I do want to drop off though. So let's go and check in our little barn. A uh, little shed rather. First and foremost, get our coffee ready for tomorrow. In fact, grab some more. Uh, do we have anything that I need to drop off? Uh, no, we don't. We, we actually didn't get that much in, that, uh, in terms of uh, produce. Just as well, honestly. Uh, there we are. Got a lot to drop off in the mining chest, though. My goodness. No, bats. Not in the mood. Don't be naughty now. Uh, let's drop all the iridium off. The, I'll keep one um, emerald with me for Emily tomorrow. Uh, we'll drop off the copper as well. The prismatic shard can go in there, though. That is that is so good. I am so pleased that we managed to get that. Unfortunately, this is the second day that I have not gone to the woods to get hardwood. Blah. I really, really am a derp for not doing that. Because it's going to take me so long to get the materials if I keep missing days. Oh, well. 
Um, let's drop off the slime. That's pretty much it for dropping off in there. No, sorry, I, I really didn't want to have to do that, but I, I needed to get past, you see. Uh, I'll just drop those off in there. Okay, no, thank you. No, 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 no. Aha! You may thank me later for not killing you by avoiding you. But that is it. It's time for us to cut the bat. What's that, Emily? Only just. Very close to uh, running out of time there. Eh? We still made a decent amount of money, considering. And with that, we are very nearly to the midway mark of summer. And it is going to be a pretty uh, hectic day today. We're not going to be able to let any of our animals out because it's all going to be stormy and they're not going to like the rain. But uh, that is going to be it from me. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm really sorry for the long wait since the last one. I'll hopefully be able to get back to recording them a little bit more frequently in the future. But as I mentioned, there may be a couple that are just um, one-day episodes. It just depends on, on you know, how how well I feel on the day because I'd rather get a one day episode of Stardew up than just skip recording Stardew at all because I think it's going to you know be a little bit too draining to record the whole two days in one go but that will be it from me so thank you very much as ever do remember to like if you liked sub if you haven't and I'll see you next time take care everyone <laughs>